I got brought this little this Gavarna over a while ago, and uh, he said it wasn't oiling. And he tried to blow in here and everything, never could get it straightened out, so he wanted to know if I'd tinker with it. And I said, yeah, I would. I don't like messing with chainsaws, but uh, it's like this ain't my crank or nothing, so maybe we can figure out something on it here. Uh, let's see if y'all hear another pair of bikes over here. Okay, well, put this, put this on here, because I'm not very accurate with my hammering. Now it appears that they put little notches right here. I mean, actually, I guess you're supposed to have a wrench going here or here or some damn place. I ain't got one. So, well, it's happy to knock it off. I think it was backward the way it, you know, there were his left hand threads on this. Let's see if this is going to work. Oh, I, got... I know I didn't put anything in the, uh, in the uh, spark plug hole. Let's see what we got, if anything. Nope, not yet. <laughs> not yet. Well, that was interesting. Knock the camera over. <laughs> Hope nobody got injured in that little escapade. Let's see what else we did here now. Got it a little differently. Finally, after so much ado, a do, 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 do. There. Going off there. All right. There's obviously nothing. Well, there's a little, there's a little wear and tear, but that ain't the problem. There's that. Now, as I've heard before, these notches have something to do with the oil pump itself. I need to oil that a little bit of grease that before I put it back. And let's see here. What do we got here? That, you know, that thing spins right out of there, don't it? Well, look like a teeth are all right on it. Okay, so what do we got here? A regular screwdriver slot. Looks like it is. Oh yeah. So we'll see what we got inside this thing. Come on here. I don't know. I didn't check. I guess it got oil in it. They want, it could be a reason why it wouldn't all, you know. There's that little plate comes up here. That's that. It's kind of dirty, but clean that up too. I don't know which way it's supposed to turn the pump. I guess like that. I don't know. Let's see. Where did I do that thing? What did I do with that little plastic gadget? Where did I? Here it is, way over here. Okay, put it back on here. Kind of spins like that. Let me get a closer look at that. Let's get it here. See what we can see. Can we see anything in there? Okay, it's turning that little thing. Now let's see here. That's in there. It's kind of a Mickey Mouse deal. All right, I'm gonna go wipe the bag thing off with. I really don't want to. A taste of oil this late in the afternoon, but well, we'll wipe it off with a t-shirt. Mm. It's open. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Great taste in oil. Well. Since that's open, back this out here again. Let's see here. What did that take? Dirt and everything in here. Oh, 
Well, it looks like that's probably kind of an Allen wrench or what that is. I I got my man, yeah, I got my blow gun here. But they let my blow something all over everything. I'm gonna go get a I don't know, let's see. Yeah, I'm kinda indecisive. Let's see what I got here. Anything in there? What is that? I don't know. Well, let me get my air hose over here. Let me see here. Oh. I'm going to cover your eyes for a minute so we don't get this all over. There. All right. Yeah, that's, a, that's an Allen wrench there. It looks to be it's blowing a little bit of bubbles out of there. Let me see what we got over here. This is the oil thing. This is it. Oh, yeah, that's it. That was the gas. And there's a large amount of oil in there, although it looks to me like he's using old used motor oil, which is not my recommendation, but I guess whatever you like. Okay. Now, let's see here. Well, I'm gonna go get a I'm gonna get an Allen wrench and we'll take this off and see what we got. Alrighty, all right, we're back now and uh, and we'll see what size that is. There's a metric of some sort right there. I really don't know what I'm looking for in here because I haven't really done this before, but we'll see. I don't know if that pump comes right off of there or, or what. Probably some of you guys have done this and you already know, but I don't. There's that. Let's see if it comes out very easy. Yes, it does. Whoa. Whoa there. Okay. That's the adjuster. Let's see. I wasn't trying to hide nothing from me. I just didn't want to, didn't want to get the get the camera all messed up there. All right. Let's see here. I can't see very good whether that's where it comes out or not. That's what becomes not having very good eyesight. Turn this around here so we don't get too much spray in anything yet. Okay, as I mentioned earlier, <coughs> he's using low, used motor oil in there. <coughs> there could have been some dirt got in it. Although this is not coming out very fast. Let me um, loosen it. Loosen up. Oh, hang on, see if it comes out any faster. Take a little cap loose. Not really making any difference here. There's that. I don't know, but I almost believe that that was the problem. But that oil stopped up in the, uh, in the, in the outlet there, whatever you call that. Now I've got to go find me a rag to clean this all up with, so I'll be back again in a minute. Well, you know, most of them have got a, a filter on the pickup tube in there, and the 
that might be the problem but now I don't know how you go about getting to that um, if it's dirty uh, let's see here. I'm trying to avoid making a big old mess of what it is I'd, I'd like to take and uh, loosen up the oil cap over there and blow some oil in here but I know good well that'd blow all kinds of oil everywhere unless I took the oil out well, I could do that, I guess. Let's see what we got in there. Well, won't blow directly into it. Ooh, well, it comes out all right now. So, let's see, that's my good rag, my dirty one. I brought, I brought a little rag the other thing out here. here. I don't know, one's about as dirty the other. Here. There. So I'm thinking that that's probably all right. Blow some more. Let the crap out of there. Well, that's a pretty basic little pump. Of course, most of these oilers are, as far as I know. Oh, the guy over there, the guy I'm working on this for, he's got a really a nice catfish pond over there. I might see if I can uh, talk him into let me go fishing over there and uh, in lieu of payment for this if indeed this works that's uh, probably close enough to write for that <laughs> oh, Ricky Dink deal I tell you it's got to go like this like that and that little thing just fits in there and this fits in here are we seeing anything I guess we are we ain't seeing much but all right I guess started in the right so we're we'll getting crooked on me there we go I believe that that was a problem that there's a goo in there in the pickup tube, whatever, whatever it has for a pickup tube. Well, if I'm mistaken, most of them have a little screen in there. Let's see if we can clean this thing. Then. All right, now let's try and see if we forgot anything this time. Get on there. Now, now then. Big old fumble finger system won't work very good sometimes. Okay. <clears throat> I'll go here. Come on, come on. There you go. All right. There's that. Now we're back together. Put this little thing on there. I'll put this back on just to turn it with. I know they're supposed to have the clip. Well, yeah, this goes on first. Yeah, I need to put some. I need to put some oil on there, grease on this thing. I cleaned up first. Oh. 
Sound like a neighbor over there. Okay, there again. Be back in a minute. Okay, all I have is some of this white lithium stuff. That ought to be all right. Put that on here. And regular gun grease would have been better, but I didn't have any. Uh, well, I got some somewhere, but I didn't want to fool with it. Let's see. And then go back on here. I'll be careful not to get there to get them little fingers right. That's all right. Now, it might be hard to knock that back on there. Get on here. Come on, get on here. Come on, come on. That's gonna tumble fingers, get that thing started here. <laughs> come on, now. You know better than that. No, I don't really want to knock it on that way because we're up against the starter thing over there. I guess it would be better if I had a rope inside the uh, spark plug hole. And of course, I probably don't have a spark plug wrench out of here. Tell you what, you know, here I do anything. You cannot possibly have every tool you need at one time. you got to go drag everything back out, you know. All right. I don't really want to hammer that in there very much because I don't think it's a good idea. Well, tap it once. See, they don't, have a, they don't have a means for that except for this thing right here. Come on here. I'm not afraid to hit too hard. I want to break that starter mechanism. It's on there, but not tight enough. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know. Let's see, I've got pressure release. Just afraid if I start that thing, it's going to spin that right off there. Maybe if you don't let it off very fast. I don't know. We'll see what happens here. Choke it up. See, I don't know nothing about this thing. Oh, I got a choke. We got a pond over here. It didn't spin that thing off on it. You don't want to shut it off very fast because boy, it'll take it right off. Okay, that's good enough for now. Kind of a hacked up video, but maybe it's not. I don't know. There's not a whole lot of videos about these oilings on any line or anything. Change what I've seen. But anyway, that's it. Take care. Talk to you later.